Hello, you're welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to be demonstrating how we can convert text from images into a machine readable format. So I'm going to show us how we can convert word from an image to a text. So we're going to use the PyTesseract module. The PyTesseract module is from Python. So it's a Python wrapper for Google Tesseract library for OCR. So we are going to do how we can extract all those tests that we have or let's say words that we have in an image so we're going to convert it to a tst file or let's say to a string so let's move into that so the first thing we need to do is we have some libraries we need to install so the first library we need to install is the pytesseract so you can use pp install pytesseract and we also need the pillow library so the pillow library actually works with images so another thing is when we download the PyTesseract, um, okay, whenever I want to download the PyTesseract, this is it, you can, there's an installer for Windows, so we have different installer. So you can come to this link, so this will be pasted under the description below. So you can come to this link, then you locate your machine, um, you, you, you locate your machine distribution, probably you're using 32 bits or 64 bits. So I already downloaded this for my computer. So now I have the exe file, so I have installed it. So from here again, the location where we downloaded this exe file, we need to copy it somewhere. This is what I have here because we're going to make use of this inside our code. So I think we have all the necessary things. So let's move to VS code and I will show you how you can convert this image to text. So now, just like I told us that we need to install these three different library, let me open it again. We have the Tesseract. It's not a must that you install this. If you have the exe file, there's no need of using pp install anymore. So since you have the exe file on your machine and you can locate the, you have the location here, so you, there's no need of using pp install. So you just need to install the pillow library. So now, we have all these installed on our machine already, and I told us this is the link where this particular um, where my Tesseract is located. So what we need to do is let's go into our implementation, and I will show us how we can convert an image to test. So let's use um, I have two images under this particular folder, so you can see this, this is a particular image. So let's use this first. Then we move to another image. So we're going to demonstrate with two of these images. So now the first thing we need to do is we need to install the P I have import image. We're going to import image from the pillow library, so, which is the first one. So we import by Tesseract. So we do import star. Okay. So the next thing is we need to put the link of our Tesseract, that is the link where um, the location where I mentioned earlier. So let's say by Tesseract, let's call this CMD. So I think there's an, let's correct this. This should be by Tesseract, yeah. That's the correct spelling. So let's use the Tesseract. So this should be by Tesseract dots because we are using this particular library. So we're just going to call the Tesseract CMD from there. So we say by Tesseract dot Tesseract CMD. Then we put our location. So the reason why we have is the indentation. So let's copy the link from here. Is the link yeah so let's put this in the print form so now we have uh that is we already put the location of our exe that is the to the tesseract so now let's put our image parts that's what we need to use let's put our image parts so i told us earlier that this is the image we want to work with the name of the image is brush.png so you write brush.png is on the particular folder of this app.py. So now we do eing 
then we do image dot open so we use the pillow library to open it then we put in the image parts that we defined so next thing is we now use the tesseract to extract the text so let's do by tesseract dot image to string So we do this image to string. So we pass in our image. Fancy. So Pythesrax is the one that is doing the conversion for us. Then we use print. The next thing is we extract our data. So let's see what we have here. Let's print this first. Then we can know what is bringing out. So let's do Python app dot py. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, you can see we have this is a brush typeface. So exactly like what we have inside this image. So you can see like this is a simple image which we converted to a string. This is what we have here. We converted the image to a string. So next thing is let's try a more complex image that has more words than what we have here. Let's see if this Pythesaract is going to catch it. So let's open this image that we have here. You can see this is behind.png. So you can see there's a there's even an image like a paid. This which underlays um, this text. So what we're going to do is let's use this image and see what we are going to do so let's change this to behind because the name of the image is behind so okay so i think that's just what we need to do let's see what's going on yeah so you can see what we have here so the four stories let's open the behind because the four stories here provide you can see it's reading ads. We have useful entry point for new readers. We begin with the Imperial. So this is actually very basic and it's very simple and easy to use. So just in case you're wondering how you can convert any kind of image you have. So you can use this. So let's label this. So this is our library. Libraries. So we have the Tesseract, so this same library, so this is the location, the Tesseract, EXC, so here is the path, the path to our image. So which is on this, so we use the pillow. Use the PIR to open our image. We convert to a string using the PI Tesseract. Convert to a string using the Pythesaract. Then we print text. So we print a text. So this is just everything that we have here. Just in case you're looking on how you can convert a very simple image, you can try the Pythesaract library, and as well, you can try to look up their documentation so which is a python module so you can look into it and see what exactly you can do further with it so i hope this tutorial was helpful and is a really good guidance on how you can convert your image to a string or maybe let's say to a txt file because what we have here you can convert it to a txt file so i hope this um this tutorial was helpful so please so subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell to be aware whenever we drop any useful content like this. 
So thanks for watching. We'd love to see you next time.